Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, we're doing another FH5 Super Wheel Spin Challenge. Last time we did this, I did my Super Wheel Spin and got the Dodge Ram Power Wagon. I took that thing online and absolutely dominated online lobby. The goal for today is to win as many online races as we can with whatever we get in this wheel spin, whether it be a car that we have to build up or money to actually buy whatever car we want. Let's see. Let's spin the wheel. Do not screw me over. That's the super wheel spin challenge for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Edit, edit that out. Take two for another super wheel spin. Okay, there are a lot of cars in here. Not a lot of money though. There's some money. Okay. Okay, 100,000 plus 35,000 plus 40,000 credit. I've got 175K to build anything. Somebody in chat says Volvo. The Volvo 850R is 25,000 credit. It would have to be an A-class on-road build. What do we think of that? We are building the ultimate sleeper car. So Volvo, we're spending 25,000 credits on the vehicle. And then I've got, what, 150k left to upgrade it? We've got an RB26, okay. A Turbo Rally and, an, and a 2JZ in this thing? We drop 40,000 credits on a 2JZ. 10,000 credits on all-wheel drive. Or do I want to be rear-wheel drive? Probably all-wheel drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play it safe. After that, I guess I'm going to toss on semi-slick tires. Semi-slicks are usually the place to be. Slick, wait, wait. S1? I think S1 is way too scary for this thing. All of Twitch chat is saying forget about A class, just do S1 class instead. I think it's gonna be a lot harder to win races in S1, but I guess we'll give it a go, okay? We're still within budget. We've only spent 98,000 credits, so I guess we're looking good. We've got nearly a thousand horsepower, all wheel drive, extremely grippy tires, and we don't weigh very much. For those of you who don't know, a sleeper car is a car that looks really, really slow, like a car you'd see every day, but in reality is really, really fast. That's kind of what I'm trying to build here. Last little thing before we do jump online, let's find ourselves a paint job that is very, very understated. Yes, I want something... I feel like, yes, yes, this. Nobody is ever gonna expect this thing to be quick. It kind of looks like a clapped out Volvo from like the early 2000s, late 90s. I totally could have made a drift car. Why didn't I think about that? Race number one for the Volvo 850R. We're under the lights. I think you can see wh why I wanted to avoid S1 class. We've got one guy using a meta car, one guy in a GT2 RS. That thing's gonna be quick. Here I am in a Volvo station wagon with rust all out. Um. What? Wait, what? No, don't. Don't, don't give me false hope like that. Don't, don't, don't. Please don't give me false hope like that. The supercars do definitely have way more downforce than I do, but I'm. I've got power. We're gonna need to cheese the checkpoints where we can. We've only got three laps. As I predicted, racing the Volvo 850R and S class would not go very well. But Twitch chat, I still have 50k saved up that I haven't actually spent just yet, right? So you know what? Maybe I do what I said I would do before. Maybe we take this Volvo and use those 50,000 credits and put it towards some drift builds. I don't think there's any upgrades that I can toss on this Volvo to make it any faster. It's a Volvo against two Lamborghinis, four GT, GT2 RS. I've got 50,000 credits to turn this Volvo brick into a drift car. So rear wheel drive, that's already 10,000 credits. 
I'm also gonna ditch my front splitter. Let's toss on a race six speed transmission. Very nice. Upgraded drive shaft. And then I guess the only other thing that I really need is just some drift suspension. Attempt number two, I guess, building the Volvo 850R. Wait, you can have rear wheel drive and all wheel drive cars competing against each other and drifting in this game? What type of a design choice is that? Racing definitely wasn't our thing in this. However, I feel like we will definitely be able to do some drifting stuff. I don't know if anybody in this lobby is actually all-wheel drive. I mean, everybody looks like they'd be in rear-wheel drive cars. I'm starting all the way at the back. I've never actually done an online drift lobby in Forza Horizon 5 before. So I, I don't really know what to expect. I don't know how good people are going to be. I don't know any of the lines, none of the circuits. I'm just going to try to drive around here as cleanly as I can. Yo, I can't even see where I'm going. My vehicle actually invisible with that much tire smoke. That is insane. I'm trying to get past everybody here so I don't have any annoying tire smoke to deal with. Yeah, I'm not the only one who's doing that. There's a few other guys who are trying to rip it to the line. How are you actually expected to drive with this much tire smoke? blocking your view. I literally can't see the road. All right, I'm just gonna race it to the line because I can't see where I'm going. Nobody in front, nobody behind, nobody to mess up any of my drift score out here. Come on, Volvo. We're still in fifth place. I know for a fact we can do better than that. We can definitely get P3. Come on. I've just, I've got to learn this car learn the circuit and stuff like that come on this is good i've actually dropped down to sixth place oh wait what wait what bro what i i had three laps um how long was that race what happened to seven minutes from back in the day the lobbies are four minutes instead of seven so you're telling me I basically have one good lap to put in and that's all? It's like as soon as you learn the circuit and learn where you could improve, the game says, nope, that's enough drifting. Here's a new circuit. That's actually so dumb. Let's see. Yeah, look up in the top left-hand corner. Four minutes of drift time. That's all. And I'm starting in last place all the way down here. So I'm getting absolutely destroyed by everybody else's tire smoke. And I can barely see the road. I'm just looking for the braking line and that's it. What are we doing? Like actually. I've just decided I don't want to do that anymore. I've got 20,000 credits left to make this Volvo 850R do something. That's top of A class. I still haven't used all of my credits. I only have 6,000 left in the bank, but we're rear wheel drive, semi-slick tires, aero, and a stock Volvo 850R engine. Please don't let me down. Please don't let me down. Please don't let me down. This is more like it. No more supercars. We definitely have some really, really quick vehicles out here. And we're also driving in the rain, so we're gonna want to watch out. Come on, Volvo 850R. Yeah, it's 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 rainy. You can definitely tell who has all-wheel drive and who doesn't right off the line. We should be able to cheese the checkpoints a little bit. And then once we get the horsepower rolling on, then we'll be able to reel them in. Come on. There we go. Up to P6 already. Closing in on the Supra and the Golf in front. Come on, Volvo. One mistake from any of these guys in front. And we're in there. Come on. Look at the Volkswagen and the Supra battling. And that guy, they're proper door-to-door -door banging into each other. Yo, that's the end of lap one already. Oh, boy. I'm gonna need to go YOLO and send it. That guy missed a checkpoint. Up into the top five. Maybe we can get top three. I think we can get top three with a little bit more sending it. Come on, come on, look at this thing. I'm learning how to drive the Volvo. Swinging out wide, this golf's gonna be slow. Here we go, here we go. There we go on the golf. Called that one beautifully. That is a lovely racing line. Now keep it out wide. Look at the Supra, he's keeping it wide. Okay, get this Supra, get the Supra. Supra sliding, Supra thinks he's a drift car. Go Volvo. 
go wheel to wheel with the Supra for third. Go, go. Late on the brakes. No. Oh my God. That was a nice move, buddy. That was a nice move. We got to go again on the Volkswagen. Up the outside. Lol, JK. Oh, sorry, bud. There we go. Okay, we got the we got the VW again. Get this Supra. I've got basically half of a lap to do. Oh my god, this Volkswagen. The Volkswagen's off. I'm not the only one who's running out of grip. Here we go. Here we go. Up the inside. Grippy Volvo. Go, Burr. Let's go. Holy, holy. Volkswagen's got the inside. Yo, Volkswagen's got the horsepower. Not gonna do anything here, or will I? Go! What are you? No! No! You stupid game! You stupid game! Who makes that a button? Oh my god, look at my lap time compared to these other guys. We were within 0 0.001 seconds. Somebody says in Twitch chat, maybe opening the map was a bad idea. Have you tried not opening the map while racing? <laughs> this wouldn't really be a challenge if we won all the time. Volvo, you did really, really, really well. I think we definitely let you down with some poor upgrades today. This thing definitely has the potential to be a lot better than what we used it for. Today just wasn't our day missing checkpoints and opening the map. <laughs>